Hi, and welcome to the Drill Pro segment on installing a magnetic digital readout kit onto a lathe. This video is the fourth of a four-part series and shows you how to install a digital readout display head onto your lathe. Now, if you haven't seen the previous three videos, I would suggest watching them now because each video builds on the previous segment's material. All right, so let's get back to our lathe and install the display head. Remember, there's not one correct place to mount it. It really depends on many factors. The physical design of your machine, what you're machining, how you machine, but most of all, your own personal preferences. Now, some folks like it closer, some farther away. Every situation is going to be different, but here are some general guidelines. First off, you need to mount the display where it's not going to swing into any moving parts such as the chuck or your workpiece. Second, you want to mount the display where it's easy to read when you're machining. Third, you want to make sure the location allows easy access to all your machine's controls, especially the emergency cutoff switch. And finally, you want to mount the display where it's easy to reach yet at the same time, you don't have to reach over any moving parts to get to it. Now for our lathe, I think mounting to the left side of this panel here would be a great idea. Now, this area here is not a casting. It's actually part of the electrical panel, so we need to be aware that any holes or bolts we put through this panel don't protrude into the case and short out or interfere with any of the electrical components. The good news is, is that I don't have to drill or tap any more holes. All I need to do is to simply drill the two holes for the mounting bracket bolts to pass through. Now remember, every installation is going to be different, and when you're choosing the right location, you have to be as diligent as possible. Always keep your personal safety in mind when choosing the location that's best for your installation. All right, so just like we did with the scale brackets, let's put some of our mounting tape on the back of the display arm bracket. And now it looks like placing the bracket right about here is going to work well for us. And to provide enough clearance for the six millimeter mounting bolts to pass through, I'll be using a 15 64th inch drill bit. But before I drill the holes, I first need to remove and take a look inside the rear access panel. And as I said before, inside here, I do have some wiring, so I've got to make sure any drilling or bolts that I install don't interfere with any of the electrical components inside this panel. All right, so let's go back to the front now and drill those holes. Okay, so now that the holes are finished, let's put the display arm bracket in place. And just like the cross slide bracket, the display bracket has grub screws to help level the display arm. So don't forget to install those before mounting the bracket. Okay, so now that I've finished attaching the display arm bracket where I want it, next, let's take a look at how to mount the display arm onto the bracket. So first, we'll put the display arm into position over the mounting bracket, and then insert two of the nylon washers in between the top and bottom of the bracket and the display arm. 
Next, we'll put the 10 millimeter bolt and a metal washer through the end of the arm. And then to finish it off, we'll add another metal washer and a lock nut. All right, so now we need to install the display. First, we want to insert the 10 millimeter threaded rod into the tapped hole on the underside of the display. Next, we'll thread a jam nut about halfway up the threaded rod. and then position the assembly onto the display arm. And we can adjust the position of the jam nut to set the height of the display. And then to finish it all off, we add a lock nut to the bottom of the assembly and then tighten it all down. Well, now that the display is mounted, all you really need to do now is to attach the scale cables and, of course, the power cord. And aside from that, the only thing left to do is to go through the display initialization and the setup menu. And that concludes the lathe installation video. It's easy to install, I've shown you how to do it, and now you can do it too.